Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today, a bit of everything. So currently I am on the way to see a doctor because I had a bit of injury recently. Well, not recently, like for quite a while. I had a bit of injury that I thought it was just caused by overdoing exercise and then, you know, tiredness. But I think it turned out that it actually might be a bit more major than I thought. And because I'm currently training for a Boston and London marathon, I need to get that sorted ASAP, especially that we are just less than 10 weeks till Boston and then less than 11 weeks till uh, London Marathon. So that needs to be sorted. What it might be a problem is that I might have a, let me just remember if I remember correctly, Piri, Pirimorph, Piriromorph, Piriformis syndrome. As I remember correctly, and it's not anything very serious, according to the doctor, but I need to go and get that checked properly because in a worst scenario, I might have to drop my training volume to the maximum for a couple of weeks where then I can recover and hopefully get back training, but I will find out soon. As we just arriving, to the building. So other thing what I'm gonna do today is after seeing the doctor I'm gonna go and do my training which is 70 minutes today but according to the plan I need to do about 40 minutes 45 minutes steady and then 10 uh, three times 10 minute tempo or, or a marathon pace with 90 second recovery in between that should be a spot on well depends how my glutes will feel and my hip because at the moment it's fine but i'm not if i put too much pressure on it i can start feeling both pain and niggles i will just go for it with the flow and see how i feel while i'm running and also it's very cold for a, for a morning like really cold it's a bit windy but cold where you can feel maybe not one two degrees that's how i feel at the moment unless it's just me being non-stop cold let's go and see we'll find out doctor appointment is finished it's a bit of a mixture of what really happened there because there's no check-ins, there's we haven't done anything, we just chatted. And really what I was told is that I need to have an urgent physio, I need to see urgently physio to check exactly what is going on with my glutes slash hip area. I need to well I need to ease off of running at the moment, which I will try my best. And then I got some exercise which I got those exercise when I was on the phone with the doctor and they kind of a bit painful to be quite honest but I was told to do them every day so just need to carry on that one just because I have a Boston Marathon and um, they're gonna try to see me SAAP so the only thing I can do now is just ease off a bit of in running do those exercises that I've been provided and just patiently wait and hopefully I can fix the pain or fix whatever problem is there with my glutes, hip and leg basically. So what's the plan of action now is that I will go home, which is looking enough, it's in like five minutes walk. I will drop my jacket and then go to my training, which is 70 minutes overall today to have an easy run and then three times 10 minutes. And it's not 90 seconds recovery, it's just three minutes easy jog in between. So one other bit of calculation, while I was waiting for an appointment, I need to run about 30 to 35 minutes easy, then three times 10 minutes marathon pace, and then three minutes of jogging between. That should bring me to 70 minutes overall. So we'll see how that goes. But if there will be any pain, then I will obviously ease off. So I will see you later. So how do I feel about it? To be quite honest, I don't know. It's kind of like I would like to take a full rest and I know that will, will be reasonable, but at the same time, I've had so much work so far towards Boston Marathon and I have a London Marathon. I mean, at the moment, I'll be taking day by day, see how I feel, take it easy, uh, listen to my body, drop maybe a bit of volume down, 
so I can give my hip to recover. Other than that, yeah, just gonna plot along and see. Well, decide actually when I see physio what she's gonna tell me regarding my running. I never thought actually that I would be in a position where injury actually would affect my training. I mean, yes, I almost broke my ribs a couple of years ago, two weeks before Manchester Marathon. I ran into metal wires or construction metal wires. So that's what I did. But it wasn't like my set goal. So this one, you know, when you're working really hard and you eventually got a place in, as they say, the hardest marathon to get any place, and I managed to qualify. It's a bit shocking, you know, especially when you have an injury while you're training for a marathon and you come and actually play big training. But anyway, we'll see how it goes. Let's just crack on of the training. And at the moment, I'm getting to 4K. So about three more K and then we move on to famous three times, 10 minutes at marathon pace. So let's go. Okay, warm up or oh, easy jog, and then just done the first 10 minutes at the marathon pace. Well, we're running a bit faster than marathon pace, but I feel pretty good. And I'm in my famous cycle track where I do all my training. I don't go on the track session. So, three minutes jog, and then we're gonna move on with another set of 10 minutes. Set done, 10 minutes, I've only about 350. Oh, it's a bit hard. It's a bit windy as well. And on the first set, I made a mistake. I've done 9 minutes, not 10 minutes. So, I don't know why. But anyway, let's do another jog. Right, time to move to set number 3 in 5 seconds 4, 3, 2, 1 let's go I got my life back. I can breathe now and I can talk now. So, tooth training 9k easy, followed by 10, sorry, three times 10 minutes, marathon pace with the three minutes in between. But I kind of messed up on the first set 10 minutes around nine minutes because where I finish on the first set comparing to where I finish second and third uh, set. I just noticed that I missed by, by one minute, but no problem, still pushed through. Overall, I covered 18.57k, just over one hour, 20 minutes. Uh, glute hurts a bit, and I could feel a bit pulling in the end of the set, so I kind of slowed down a bit. I've got a mix, mixed feelings regarding, you know, what everything happened. I think, like, tomorrow is my day off, Friday, every Friday is my day off from running. I think I'm just gonna go for a little walk around in the leg, clear my mind because uh, I really don't know how I feel about that injury and what should I do. I also am gonna try to get in touch with my coach and uh, hopefully I can get that physio appointment SAP and then just gonna do the exercise that I've been provided uh, when I had the phone call with the doctor. So I'm gonna keep doing them. Eat plenty of veg, carbs, trying to, you know, eat healthy, drink plenty of water and hopefully that will help to heal the problem. I mean, when I'm running, I'm, I am okay. I can feel a bit of pulling, but it's not like 
a really serious pulling but i've noticed if i late if i've got like a bit of i don't know if when i sit or when when i'm working sometimes my, my left leg go numb so and concerning that well concerning just what doctor said it might be near the sciatic nerve a muscle or an issue where it will aggravate my uh, my muscle and my leg and that's why i'm getting numbness so we'll see but anyway that's everything for today i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you later quick update um just two weeks after the meeting i had with a um, doctor i had a meeting or an appointment with the physio and it turns out as i said before that it is piriformis syndrome i have to carry on doing the exercise that I said in the video already, um, I have to do them every day, I have to focus more on the recovery as well. I don't have to slow down too much, but I have to pay more attention to the pain level. If it's too much, I have to reduce the volume, but other than that, I can keep focusing on the training and with the tra daily training and with the recovery, that should help. This is a common injury for runners and unfortunately, I am one of them. So. Um, just a quick update to finish that video. Thank you for watching and I will see you later.